All right, the cabinets are back together. I got all the um, doors and drawers in. I painted all the hardware a matte black, um, which still has a little bit of sheen. It's not like flat. There's a difference between matte and flat. Um, but I'm real happy with the way they look and how it all turned out. Even the fire extinguisher holder got a facelift. And then in the entry doors, I just think it looks so much better, so much brighter. Um, so the next step is the flooring won't get here until Monday. So the next step is I'll probably be working on curtains and cushions. Um, I'm not going to put them in until we're done with all the renovations. Because we do have some roof repairs to do. That, we already have a replacement for that. As you can tell, all this stuff needs to be replaced or re-attached re, uh, better. This is the yuckiest part of the canvas. Which, and you can see there's some damage there. Um, and this side isn't as bad as the other side but I was able to take that bracket off sand all the rust off I primed it and I've got it painting so I thought I would have to buy new ones but they're salvageable it just makes me worry about what's underneath there so I do think all this canvas has to come out and um, it's the only way we're gonna get it clean I, I would still be game for 1200 bucks for a new one, but, you know, we'll see. Um, we did get the countertop off of the other, the big sink piece. Um, so we're going to use that for a template on a new countertop. This one's getting replaced. And this one's getting replaced. The two tables that are in here are in good shape. There's no need to replace them. I actually don't mind this. It's kind of just a gray it it's fine I may leave it or I may contact paper it it just depends um, but honestly they're fine just the way they are kind of goes with my black red gray and white theme anyways so that's it for the cabinets I'm very happy how they turned out all right next step is done we have cut our new countertops so that one goes there, and here is the entry counter, and then this is where the sink counter will be, but that is out here. And there's the sink counter. We didn't cut the hole yet for the faucet because we might be changing faucets we don't know so we'll wait so today or tomorrow morning I will sand all these down and then I've got a kind of a medium um, medium to dark wood stain for that that's a poly coat and stain in one and I'm gonna do both sides so um, they're equally treated and I'm very excited to get these in place Okay, we're about to get some work, uh, about to start some work on the camper. Here are the chickens. Hi, chicken. My tomato plants getting started. I'm going to put some zucchini in that one. Hi, Loretta. It's Loretta and Dottie and Dolly and Tammy and Patsy over there and Reba. And Baby Buff is broody, so she's being isolated. She's being up. Hey, you know what? Anyways, um, just to show you, we did get the countertops done. Um, very happy with how they turned out. They look beautiful. The entryway. They are installed now. And the little countertop next to the cooktop. We're not going to do the cooktop counter because it's in actually really good shape. I did um, refinish the hardware and I just cleaned it yesterday. Um, 
So those are the only countertops we're redoing. The dinette counter and the little table that goes over there, if we want to use it, is the same as this. And it's kind of a, you know, a mottled gray. So it's fine. It'll go with, with everything we have. What we are going to undertake today is taking this canvas down. I guess we're just, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> we're going to take it down. There's just no way that this is cleanable in here. It is just too bad. Um, this rust is awful. I was able to scrub that bracket, though, all the rust off of it and refinish it. Um, so we're going to take this down. And we put, uh, we have a raised patio. You can kind of see it over there where the foam mattresses are. We laid some chairs and, you know, made kind of a line and some, uh, what do you call it, uh, sawhorses. We hope we have enough footage there diagonally. And I'm going to just hose it and clean it up there and... Hopefully we can get it done. Otherwise, a replacement is $1,200. I'd rather just get this one cleaned up. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a whirl. And while we have this off, my husband's going to work on fixing the roof. We've got stuff to fix there. Um, this is all apart. Well, that whole strip is going to be replaced. And then um, we've got a new vent already so that's going to be replaced and then we're just going to make sure the top of the trailer the camper is watertight that is the big goal and um and we've got new trim pieces and everything to put on it so that's it for right now okay we are getting the canvas out and we figured out um you have to take all the little screws there weren't that many there were just a few up here off and then there are six exterior screws that are kind of at each corner and each by the door and then it's just on a track system you can see it up here and there's a track system down here so we just slid this side off and basically you're just going to go in a circle and then we're going to slide this end off and just keep going around the camper until it all comes off. It's like uh, a little more than I thought it would be, but um, we also think we're going to need to replace all this track system because it's pretty old and it's cracked in a lot of places. And we know we have water damage on this corner because this was the countertop that was just disintegrated. Um, and up here, you know, that wood's kind of bad. So, I don't know. Once we get all this canvas off, we will be able to tell what we need to replace. Alright, the entire canvas is off. Um, so, I've got it up here on our patio, draped over chairs and stuff. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, although the dogs think this is a big fort. Um, I'm going to work on the outside first, since it's pretty much vinyl on the outside. And I'm just using a bucket of soapy water and um, just mild dishwasher detergent. I looked for Woolite, but I couldn't find any. So we're just going with this. Um, and my husband is working on taking off all the trim that was on the inside because it all has to be replaced. Um, it, was, it was pretty cracked. And of course we found lots of damage, but <laughs> oh well, here we go. All right, I had to bring the canvas down to the lawn to do the canvas side. The outside is the vinyl side. Um, it was just too bunched up up on the patio. So I basically made a, a big, long, um, elevated thing so it can drain off. Saw horses in the middle, chairs at the end where the, where the uh, bed areas are. And that's where one door hooks up. And that's where the other door hooks up. Uh, so now I'm going to wash this side with mild soap and water. See if I can get it cleaned up enough. 
um, then we'll probably spot treat those rust stains. Um, but I'd like to just use soap and water if I can get away with it. Anyways, here goes round two for cleaning the canvas. Well, this little puddle of water here tells me that the waterproofing on the inside of this canvas is still pretty good. But we are, um, we are going to spray the interior uh, canvas with Scotch Guard when we're done with this. But uh, I would say it's still working. It's probably never been cleaned this way. And we're not trying for perfection here. I do want to get the rust stains out, but mostly we're just wanting to get the dirt and grime and the musty smell out of this thing. All right, I am done cleaning this beast. Um, we did end up using some of this Starbright Fabric Clean, and of course I used a soft bristle um, tire brush. Although I don't use it for my tires anymore because it's too soft. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think it did come out really nicely. Is it perfect? No. Did some of the grease stains come out? No. But overall, it is much cleaner than it was. And we did not get that out. And I don't think there's a way to get that out. If anybody has an idea how to get that out, let me know. Um, but at least I feel better that it's clean. It won't smell musty. I washed it with um, regular dish soap and water. Scrubbed it with the brush. Hosed it. We also did the other underside yesterday, and uh, which is the outside. And then on trouble spots, I used some Dawn dish soap. You know, again, didn't get it completely out, but it's good enough. Um, we are going to... This side came out much better. The rust wasn't as bad. Um, we are going to take it to an upholstery shop today. There's about three spots that need... Um, fixing that we can't do, I can't do with my machine. Um, we need to get that repaired. And then on this side, this needs repairing. And there's another hole here that needs repairing. Anyways, we're going to walk around the whole thing carefully and I'm going to mark him with pieces of fabric, safety pin the fabric to them so he can find them. We're going to load it up in our van and take it to him. I was really hoping it would be a mobile place, but it is not. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's going to look much brighter inside when we do get this back in. Um, and that will be an adventure getting it back in, I'm sure. Anyways, that's our cleaning of the canvas for our pop-up camper.